Good morning, Mayor Valensky with Driving Markets. Let's kick off. So China came out with lower manufacturing orders. Manufacturing production was down. Also, the PMI for the service goods sector was down. So both PMIs on the manufacturing and on the service sector were down. In other words, this is the fifth consecutive month where China is seeing a slowdown in overall production across the board. However, consumer spending was slightly up in August, which was better than expected. So that was a good sign of China potentially going through recovery. However, I see over the next 18 months, at least China continuing to slide and will end up being like Japan has been for the last 20, 30 years, whereby there's very little growth. Hard to believe it, but likely to happen. Remember, China being the um, biggest communist authority, biggest communist regime, wants to prove to the world that communism is more successful than capitalism. So they're going to lie about the numbers and they're going to put out all a load of trash. However, China being the number two global economy and still well ahead of India is going to have an impact on the West. At the moment, the West is ignoring it. Markets are ignoring the markets in the US and UK and Europe went up on the back of, well, UK not so much went up, UK was pretty flat, but went up on the back of a lower job openings report a couple of days ago, which meant that the labor market could be cooling off. If the labor market cools off, that's good for the Fed, therefore put less pressure on the Fed to raise rates. So even though you've got cooling labor market, which normally should be an economic indicator that things are not going well, in this particular circumstance, what you've got is the market reading into it, focusing on interest rates, and therefore the same hold on if the labor market is cooling off then there won't be that much pressure on the Fed to raise rates and as a result of that markets have gone up in anticipation of a slowing or stopping of any interest rate rises in the US however even though the bull trend has not been broken I've spoken over and over again that uh, the bull trend has not been broken yet and this week I did say already last week we're going to end we're going to have an up week this week we're going into September I do see a correction coming interestingly enough look at Nvidia Nvidia is passing the $500 mark it did touch $513 when the results came out and then slipped back and now it's creeped back up there as its orders are going through the roof it doesn't have enough supply to supply to keep up with demand so you're going to have nvidia probably creeping up it could be a sell in the very near future at these levels expect markets to finish the week on a high but next week there's going to be a correction or continuing correction in the near term and to pull back in financial markets mayor valensky with driving markets online you can subscribe share comment also see my book on amazon have a great day